Hey guys, so here's an update on the um, seaweed extract situation. I hooked up this little uh, air pump to it and I'm running it on high since the past couple of days. I think it's been here for two and a half, maybe three days. What happens is that all this foam gathers up at the top and the little pieces of seaweed start coming on top of the foam and it's quite foamy. The foam won't go away. I removed this once in the middle of the night when I was looking at it because it seemed a little wrong. But uh, yeah, the foam goes darker brown where the seaweed is inside it and it just, it just, I don't know, the foam doesn't, doesn't go away. But when the pump gets turned off for a little while, um, uh, there's not enough time in the video to show you guys this, but when the pump gets turned off, the bubbles do go away and it really does smell just fine. So um, I'm hoping that this is all good and I'm letting it be this way. I just stir it around to keep it, uh, to keep it mixing to keep it mixing well. It's nice and brown down there. I can't get it. Most of this is seaweed extract. Uh, most of it is pieces of seaweed, but it is a bit more colored than it was before. I want to come down and give this a boil in just a little while and get rid of any, even in case there are any pathogens and bad bacteria, I'll get rid of them all. Uh, now while I'm at it, I'll give you guys a quick look at the new plants that I've bought. There are three strawberry plants and a lettuce plant that I picked up uh, yesterday from the annual uh, flower show. Here's a strawberry plant. It's already putting out a strawberry. Try to get the ones that were, um, yeah, that were flowering the least and that weren't fruiting, so that I'd get plants that would be able to handle the uh, have plenty of energy for the transplanting. There's three of these strawberry plants and a little lettuce. So yeah, everything here. Uh, should go into the aquaponics by today. One of these strawberries will go into the aquaponics, one into uh, one will stay in the dirt and one will stay in my room. So we'll have a good um, comparison of everything. Here's a quick shot of all the flowers that are here. I showed you guys these a long time ago. Uh, yeah, that's one that I've been using, the pink one, to show off. Uh, there's some new rose bushes here that mama got from the flower show. They smell really lovely and uh, the other plants are doing pretty okay here are now these are the seedlings so, uh, this is sponge gourd and this one is uh, capsicums i think same ones that are upstairs in the aquaponics but these are way way behind just putting out their third leaf and the aquaponic ones are on their fourth already it's a really big capsicum capsicum is doing quite well down here here it is really big solid looking capsicum rest of the plant doing well um, random little plants here's the coriander it's harvested a bit every day and we eat it at home a small tomato plant has got a really ripe pair of cherry tomatoes on it and uh, random vines that are yeah this those vines didn't used to be that uh, low as well that's quite a bit of growth on them so good stuff happening here's the long melons the long melons apparently are doing pretty okay but they're still behind the, on this on their fourth leaves and taller in the aquaponics some of the iceberg lettuce that we've been eating downstairs uh, the mint is here we consume this mint and this lemongrass uh, is a new addition I'm going to try and make some tea out of this and drink it in a few days and uh, yeah, the, the other plants, here's the um, or, oregano going on and more iceberg lettuces, uh, more oregano down there. Here's the real interesting bit, this is the sweet basil, this is the, out of the same batch, same planted at the same time as the sweet basil upstairs in my system and the difference is just mind blowing. So yeah, let, uh, coming back to what the video is really about, which is my seaweed extract. Um, you guys need to let me know if you've ever seen this kind of foaming with um, any system in which you have brewed compost tea or if you've tried uh, composting or brewing any other kind of tea and tell me if you know whether or not this, um, this foam is a good thing or a bad thing. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.